Okay, so we're gonna uh, set a, a project folder. And to do that, we go to file and we go to, to uh, project window, right? So let me go to new right here. There's location. I'm gonna click on this and I'm gonna go to my desktop, right? And then I'm going to click on this folder and I'm gonna name it class, 3D class. 3D animation class, right? And I'll click select, right? So what this is, is saying users, um, my username, the desktop, and this folder 3D animation class. This is current project, and I can name it, I don't know, my new class project. Let's just do that, right? And it has all these folders, we'll click accept, right? Now, let me do this. Let me look on screen, right? So look, right here, it says 3D animation class. I double click on it. Then it has new class project and double click on this and it has all these folders right here, right? And so this is where all your images will go into and we can even make another folder and, and name it like reference images or something. And we can keep our references in there. Let's, as a matter of fact, let's just do that. New folder. Reference images, all right? So this is our project folder. Like I said, 3D animation class, new class project, and it's in here. So. Now let's go back to Maya. Uh, all right, and now let's set this up, right? So I'm gonna do file and I'll go set project and then I'll go to my desktop. Oh no, wait, that was it. Uh, all right, let me do it again. File, set project, go right here. Actually, this is it and I'll just click on set, right? And also, you know what I'll do too? I'll go to file, save as, save scene as. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna put it in this scenes file. See how it's already set up in this pro in this folder to, to save your stuff here. So I'll go here and I'll type in, uh, I don't know, um, tables uh, 01, right? Because if we do change it, you know, we might wanna do 02 or something like that. So now we have uh, our project set right here. So, that being said, let me show you this real quick. So for what you were talking about, I'm thinking we can do it like this. I'll take my enter edge loop tool, hold down control, and I'll click, 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 click. It won't be exactly like your reference. I'm just gonna show you, I guess, how you could do it. So I can go here and uh, press Q to quit. And I can go right click and go to faces. Now, if I wanna get a loop of faces, I click on this one time hold down shift and double click, all right? And it gives me the whole loop. Let me show you that wireframe. Click on one face, hold down shift, double click the face next to it and it gives you the whole loop. So I can go here and maybe like scale this out. Um, and also if you press shift and greater than, it grows your selection. And shift less than reduces it, all right? So I'll do that, um, go to this one, shift, I mean, click it, shift, double click, the whole edge loop, and I'll like bring it in. Um, and also what I can do is I can go to edges, double click on the edge, and I can scale this edge in and out. I'm double click on this edge scale it in and out. So maybe that could get you closer to um, the look, I would say. And then on certain parts, let's say if I wanted to make it like a little bit round here. Well, I'll do this twice just to show you. Control D. 
So I can go to click on this and shift double click. So I have these two selected, pressing four for wireframe, press five for solid, and then shift right click. And then I can do a bevel on these individual parts. And you can see how it like makes a little bit more round. If we add a little more segments, I go to the fraction. Remember if we hold down control, now it's getting around it there. So we can do that. Um, and then something like over here, uh, we'll see how this looks. It might look bad, but I'm going to go shift and I'm going to click on all these corners. And then do a shift, right click, bevel edge, go to the fraction. And now I'll add some more segments to, I guess, make it a little bit rounder. So instead of it being like this sharp edge, imagine like a little kid like hitting that or something. And then imagine this one. So it's kind of like build it out. So we can do it like that.